Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. This is the third video on network analysis. In the last two videos, I have explained you about the meaning of the term network. What is a project? What is network analysis? PERT, CPM, time estimates in PERT, then critical path, slack, then float, then management applications of network analysis. All these things I have already explained in the last two videos. So if you have not watched those videos, I suggest you to go to the playlist of my channel, select the subject operations research, select the videos of network analysis, be perfect about the concept. Then only you can be able to understand the problem. And also in examination, they will ask you a theory question regarding these concepts. In this video, two more concepts I am going to explain you. That is fundamental concept of network model. And what are the guidelines to be followed while making the network? So these two are also very important. So watch the video till the end. Don't skip in between. Take the screenshot of the points which I have written. Then I'll explain every point in detail. Now, first of all, fundamental concepts of network model. Actually, the ingredient, the fundamental ingredient of PERT and CPM is making the network diagram. That means network system as a means of graphically depicting the proposed project. Whether it is a PERT or CPM, both will require the diagram. That means in a diagram, we have to show all the activities, events. Then before making the network, it is necessary to understand some key concepts which are used in network. In the network diagram, we will represent all the activities and events. So a student should be clear in mind regarding the meaning of the concepts which are used in network. First, act, first one is activity. Actually, a project is a bundle of activity. That means a project consists of operations or tasks called activities. Every project consists of so many operations, so many tasks. So bundle of those operations consists of project. So activity is nothing but the operations or tasks to be completed in the project. So which uh, consume time and resource. One important point you have to remember, every activity will consume the time as well as resources. Without applying the resources, we cannot complete the activity and without having some time, instantly we cannot be able to complete the activity. It requires some time. So time and resources are the basic things required to complete an activity. Now an activity is depicted in the diagram by an arrow mark. Remember this point, very important. In every network diagram, you can see the arrow mark, head and tail of the arrow. That arrow mark shows the activity or activities are represented by arrow marks in the network. The activity arrow is not scaled. Actually, what is the what should be the length of the arrow? It does not have any significance. It depends on your convenience and clarity. How much is the area? How much is the size of the page where we are drawing this uh, diagram? So length of the arrow does not have any significance for our convenience, for our clarity. We can, uh, I mean, use any length. It is not scaled. And the head of the arrow shows the sequence of the flow of activity. In every arrow, head and tail will be there. The head shows the flow of activity from where it is flowing, where it is starting. An activity cannot begin until and unless all the preceding activities are completed. That means in the network diagram, we have to make the relationship between predecessor activity and successor activity. Which activities should be done first and which activities should be done next. So before doing any activity, all preceding activities must be completed. And it is important that activities may be defined so that beginning and uh, ending activity can be identified. 
all the activities should be named like a b c d or one two three like that so can we can be able to know which activity is the starting activity and which activity is the ending activity so these points you have to remember regarding the first concept that is activity second is predecessor activity activities are classified into two categories predecessor activity and successor activity predecessor activity those activities which should be done first before starting the next activity example a activity should be done first and then only b activity can be done that means b activity cannot be done until and unless a activity is completed so a activity is called predecessor activity and b activity is called successor activity successor activity activities that cannot be started until and unless one or more of the other activities are completed like this b activity cannot be done until and unless a activity is completed so b activity is called successor activity concurrent activity <clears throat> two or more activity can be done simultaneously also it is not necessary that all the activities should have predecessor successor relationship there are some activities which can be done concurrently simultaneously both the activities can be done example simple example i'll give you in the construction of a house in the construction of a building the plumbing work and electricity work can be simultaneously done the plumber will do his plumbing work and electrician will do his electricity work so these two activities are does not have any relationship so both are concurrent activity uh, then event the completion of one activity and starting of the next activity in between that we call it as event event does not consume any time and resource it only shows that when the activity is completed and when the next activity is started so all the activities uh, should be uh, i mean in between the activities there should be events and event represent a specific accomplishment in the project accomplishment of the activity event represents the spot of time where one activity is completed and the next activity is started and takes place at a particular instance of time and does not therefore consume time or resource it takes place only at the end of the activity so it does not consume any time or resource it only shows that one activity is completed and the next activity is being started so an event in the network is a time oriented reference point that signifies the end of one activity and beginning of the next act so this event only shows the time when the one activity is completed and the next activity is being started events are usually represented by a circle in the diagram one very important point you remember activity is represented by arrow mark whereas event will be represented by a circle when arrow is completed at the head of the arrow one event circle will be drawn that is event from that event the next arrow will start so the event circles are also called nodes the event circle are also called as nodes all activity are a begin and end with nodes every activity there should be a beginning event and ending event at the tail of the activity one event should be there and at the head of the activity another event will be there that means activity will always be between two events like this starting event and finish event between these two events there is an activity this arrow mark shows the activity so in the whole network diagram we have to show like this only every activity will begin from one event and end with another event now merge event when two or more activities come and join an event when two or more activities sorry when two or more activities come and join an event that is called a merging activity here you can see this is the merging activity <coughs> two activities are coming and merging in this event this is called merge activity bust activity <coughs> when two or more activities are coming out from an event 
that is called burst activity this is the bursting activity then that means this is the event from the event two activities are bursting so it is called bursting activity next is merge and burst there are some events where two or more activities are merging simultaneously two or more activities are bursting so it is called merging and bursting event so this is the merging and bursting three activities are merging and three activities are bursting not three two or more than two anything you can say so this is the merge and burst activity now dummy activity in most project many activities can be performed concurrently or simultaneously see here in a project we can see there are many activities which can concurrently be done or simultaneously be done in that case that means uh, two activities are having the same beginning and same event but one of the rule in network analysis is no two activities should be done between the same event same beginning event and same ending event so every activity should be represented separately no activity should be drawn two activities between the events to overcome that concurrent or simultaneous activities we apply dummy activity so uh, it is possible that two activities could be drawn by the same beginning and end when two activities are concurrent or simultaneous that means it will have the both beginning event and the ending event but we should not draw the two activities between these two events in situations where two or more activities can be performed concurrently the concept of dummy activity is introduced to resolve the problem so whenever we see that two or more than two activities are concurrent or simultaneous in that case we introduce this dummy concept dummy activity concept to resolve the problem what is the problem uh, between two events only one activity should be there between two events there should never be two activities to resolve that we apply dummy activity therefore there will be only one activity between two events always the rule is between two events always there should be one activity that's it dummy activity consume no time and resource this dummy activity is introduced only to overcome the situation so this dummy activity will not consume any time or resource this dummy activity will be shown in the network diagram by a dashed arrow like this dashed arrow we will show whenever dashed arrow is there it is understood that it is a dummy activity which does not consume any time and resource and this is introduced only to overcome the problem of concurrent activities or simultaneous activities so these are the concept fundamental concept of network model these terms you have to remember regarding activity event predecessor event successor event then predecessor activity successor activity what is event what is merging event what is bursting event merging bursting event dummy activities these are the basic concepts every student must know in examination they will frequently ask what is dummy activity so just know what i have explained that is very very important guidelines for construction of network diagram whenever we draw the network diagram some rules have to be followed there are some principles to be followed while drawing a network diagram what are those rules <coughs> these are each activity is represented by one and only one arrow in the network therefore no single activity can be represented twice in the network every activity will be represented by a single arrow no activity will be represented by two arrows one activity one arrow that's it that is the rule in network secondly no two activities can be identified by the same beginning and ending event that means if two concurrent activities there are there we should not draw the concurrent activities having the same beginning event and same ending event in that case we have to use the concept of dummy activity to overcome the problem of concurrent activities then third one before an activity can be undertaken all the activities preceding to it must be completed example a b c d e 
that means e activity cannot be performed until and unless d activity is completed d activity can be done only and only when c activity is completed c activity can be done only and only when b activity is completed like this all predecessor activity should be completed to perform the current activity then the arrows depicting various various activities are indicative of logical precedence only the length of the arrow are of no significance the arrow shows the precedence or the flow of activity the length of the arrow does not have any significance that means what should be the length of the arrow it depends on your convenience next one the flow of diagram should be from left to right always the diagram should go from left to right never the diagram should be from top to bottom or right to left always the diagram should go from left to right arrows should be kept straight and not bent or curved always when you draw the arrow the arrow should be a straight line it should not be a bent line or curved line then each activity must have a tail and head even no two or more activity must have the same tail and every activity must have a beginning event tail event and ending event head event the so one tail event one head event should be there for every activity last one is the general rule for numbering the activity is that no event can be numbered until all preceding events have been numbered that means while numbering the event you have to see that event should be numbered from left to right that means the higher number should always be completed after completing the lower number example 4 after 4 then only we should write 5 don't write the event numbers randomly here and there there should be a flow of numbering 1 2 3 4 like that then the number at the head of an arrow is always greater than the number at the tail of the event the head event number should always be greater than the tail event number that's it so in this video i have explained you about the fundamental concept of drawing the network model and what are the guidelines or what are the rules to be followed while drawing a network so if you are satisfied give a like to the video share my channel among your friends among your group so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge subscribe my channel if you have not yet subscribed and by the super thanks which is given below my video inshallah we'll continue our discussion in the next video